hundreds of times better power consumption across the, the lifetime. You can start building things based around modules like the ESP32C6 that live on a battery for a really long period of time. Good morning, IPXers. Welcome to the studio of IP Exchange. I have the world's smallest microphone to be using and recording this video this morning. Today, we will be talking to Sean from Analtech regarding his board that will be on our booth at Embedded World from Expressive. Our booth is 4A556. Enjoy the video. So Sean, the first one we're going to start with is Expressive, which is this little board that I've got here. So maybe if you just give us a little instru instruction about the board, what it does and where it's come from. Okay, so uh, Expressive are now, I think, pretty much the world leader set in terms of volume shipments on um, semiconductors and modules for doing Wi-Fi. Basically, that's their, their core competence. And the the big thing for Wi-Fi at the moment, certainly in terms of the sectors we play in, is Wi-Fi 6. So for anybody that's not um, familiar with Wi-Fi 6, um, it brings some very significant advantages over what we think of as Wi-Fi at the moment, which is generally Wi-Fi 5 and the, the, the kind of uh, standards that go with it. <clears throat> there are two really big ones the the first one is more throughput so you can get more data through them but the second and i think this is probably going to change the way that wi-fi is used in the internet of things is wi-fi 6 gives you a lot of advantage in power saving so the way that wi-fi 6 operates uh, it gives you much much more flexibility to turn the device off and wake it back up and still be connected so you're using little bursts of power now that that exists in wi-fi 5 at the moment but you can only turn it off for quite short periods with wi-fi 6 you can turn it off for really really long periods uh, and by short periods i mean hundreds of milliseconds and by long periods i mean hours so right. it's it's hundreds of times better power consumption across the the lifetime of the thing so that means you can start building things based around modules like the ESP32C6 that live on a battery for a really long period of time. And that just that just hasn't been a possibility with Wi-Fi before. And so you can start making battery powered edge nodes for the Internet of Things based on these modules and you can fit them and forget about them. And they yep. will work for months and years. Yeah. So you talk about, you know, typical Internet of Things um, applications. Obviously, this is something that won't be connected uh, by power. So what would be a remote type of application for that kind of thing that you've seen customers working on? Um, really, that 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 that's as much as your, your imagination wants to, to let okay. you do. But, you know, the, the edge of the Internet of Things can be sensing, detecting typically anything and that can be everything from temperature to okay. a video stream okay so right. um you know it, it can be a thing that's doing some environmental monitoring it can be um providing a, a constant stream of data on who's walking past how many people are walking past what they're doing um the, the minute you you start building things that monitor then you get into the world of big data and that big data has to come from somewhere. It has to be gathered from all these edge nodes, aggregated, processed, and turned into something valuable by all these big software as a service companies. Yeah, yeah, I see. So, so this is this is this this can sit quietly in the field, um, waiting for something to happen, and then the moment it does, it switches itself on. It's not using the power of yeah. the device because it has to be turned on, and then the moment it has to then report back, it will turn itself on and send its data down. Yeah, so so the ESP32 series of devices is very much more than just a Wi-Fi capable thing. They're a, they're a very capable processor in their, in their own right. So many people, uh, you know, during the shortage of, of semiconductors over the last couple of years, people have been buying expressive devices and using them without using the Wi-Fi, which is kind of bizarre because that's all that they were ever intended to do. But they are a great uh, microprocessor, they're low cost and they're available. So you you couple in the fact that they give you great connectivity as well, and it's an absolute winner. It's why that you know they are pervasive. You find 
espressive all over the place now you 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 know i, I got a electric vehicle charger fitted to my house the other day because i'm proud owner of an ev and i i just be an electrical nerd i waited till the guy was installing it and went out and had a look at what was inside to see who pod point you had a rummage, their, you had a rummage didn't you sure and guess what espressive <laughs> was in there and it didn't surprise right. me in the least you know if something's connected to wi-fi it's and it's not your phone it's probably espressive Right. So if our if our community wants to come along to our, our booth in Bidit World, they're not just getting this this white Wi-Fi co connectivity. They're also getting the processing power that sits you can, on. You can run your system on that. Absolutely. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. And and then to that point, they can they can apply uh, Viper Exchange to get the dev board uh, and you can actually supply these in volume almost immediately. Oh, yes, absolutely. No problem okay. at all. So uh, the one that you're holding in your hand came straight from Mineral Tech Stores at HQ. So we've got plenty more where that came from. Right, right. OK, so one last question for this one. We're always looking for alternative technology. So so, so we're obviously talking about mainstream MCUs for the MCU part. What about the Wi-Fi part? What, 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 other, what other kind of companies would? So if you've got design engineers out there um, looking for alternatives, what would be the sort of things they'd be using today? And they go, oh, I could use this instead. Yeah, I, I, I mean, the, you you see Wi-Fi from many manufacturers. Um, there there are there are two or three different sorts I would categorise. There are the guys that take somebody else's silicon and make a module. Um, there are the guys that are quite good at silicon, um, and it's not their main thing. Uh, and then there are the guys that are just dedicated to what they do. So the first category might be um and I, I'm, I might be guessing i'm pretty sure tell it don't make their own silicon but they make modules based on somebody else's i know simcom are like that they they use qualcomm silicon in their gsm modules but they're, they're buying the silicon from somebody else then you've got the guys like st and microchip that make a whole range of silicon uh, and they're you know they're quite good at that stuff if you can find it, obviously, um, but they're not, it's not their specialty to do the RF stuff. You know, they might have acquired a company that does it along the way. I think that was certainly the case in terms of um, of microchip. They, they acquired a company beginning with Blue, I can't remember who it was now. Um, okay, sorry. Expressive are a pure play wireless microprocessor company. So the chips that are in there are Espressive chips. They've got complete control of the whole uh, semiconductor ecosystem and they are absolutely rooted in wireless technology so they really know what they're doing. Excellent so that's a real nice hybrid fit between the, uh, the the chip itself and the Wi-Fi connectivity at the same time. If you want to evaluate any of the boards you see in our content go to our website. I just can't remember what it's called. Hypexchange.tech. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a professional at this you know. And if you go on there and evaluate a board, you could get yourself oh, one of these. How cool is that? Look forward to your, your applications. See you soon, all Embedded World.